Local culture, food, costumes, dance, fashion and craft are ready and on display at the first ever Mashamani village, which was today declared open by Prime Minister the Honorable Moses Nagamutu. Marcia Gonzalez, Kobana Region 1 born indigenous woman, now living on the coast, is bringing her authentic indigenous flavors to the first ever Mashamani village at Durban Park. Gonzalez produces and markets cassava bread, farine, casrip, coconut, and crab oils. I ventured around because I, I grew up with a single parent mother and she worked everywhere to make a living. But um, eventually I came to Georgetown at the age of 15 and I worked with people, but now I have, I got married and I have my own business and this is what I do for a living now. Being held until February 18, the Mashramani village was declared open on Thursday by Prime Minister the Honorable Moses Nagamutu, who sampled the food and enjoyed the art and culture. The Golden Jubilee, of course, is of great significance to all Guyanese is that we could celebrate 50 years of being a completely free, sovereign, liberated state. Minister of Social Cohesion, the Honorable Dr. George Norton, reflected on the unique nature of the Guyanese. Mashumani depicts who we are as a people. It showcases and celebrates our individualities and the unique identity that we were able to cultivate as a land of six distinctly vibrant peoples. Performing at the Match Village were Junior Calypso Queen 2020 Omaya Hall, Junior Soka Monarch winner Relon Summer, a visually impaired 17-year-old, and Soka Competition finalist Melissa Vanilla Roberts, along with St. Cuthbert's Mission Youth. The Mashamani Village is part of the plethora of activities being held in celebration of Guyana's Golden Jubilee Republic anniversary, themed Guyana Together, Reflect, Celebrate, Transform. Natisha Isaacs, Foreign Info Hub. Oh, yeah,